Today, in this video, we're going to talk about setup and operation of a plasma cutter, probably one of the coolest tools in the shop. They don't have a lot of controls on them. They're not a real sophisticated machine, but they are a very cool machine. So let me take you through this. You're going to walk into the lab, come into the cutting room, and we have four or five of these plasma cutters. They are hypertherms, Power Max 85, this one is. They have different capacities, different sizes of machine, can cut different thicknesses of metal. But the ones we have in here are um, they're top of the line machines. So let's run through how to set this up. First thing we need is the power cable. And just like your welders, this plug's got a little tab on it that goes to the back. So we put that in the back, wiggle it around, shoot that one up in there, put the locking ring on, and hit our breaker. Now we have power. The machine is energized. On the back there is a switch, but there's also an air inlet because one of the things that this machine utilizes is electricity to create a plasma column, a plasma arc, but it also uses high pressure air, our airline, to blow the molten metal away. So, we're going to flip the switch on, hook our air up, now we have power, we have air, and our switch is on. If we come around to the front of the machine, we can see it's powered up. Now there's a couple different settings on this machine. There's settings for air pressure or gas, because we can also put a portable compressed air tank on this instead of an air hose. There is our dial for amperage, the big A. There's our big dial for amperage. This one goes up to 85 amps. And this is our selector for the type of cutting we want to do. Now the best way to learn about these machines is of course with the manual. So if I pull my manual out, I can see all these same icons that I have over here on the machine. So if I look at this one, this setting is for cutting expanded metal because you have a break in the metal. So if we're cutting expanded metal, we use this setting. If we're going to cut regular metal, straight flat metal, plate metal cutting, we go to this setting. If we're going to do gouging with this, we bring it down here, and the last one is plasma torch cutting, which is for if we have this torch on an automated machine like a plasma table. So where you want this set at is the second one down, which is plate metal cutting. We have 70 amps up to 85 amps. Now if you look in this manual, it will give you a better version of where you should set your amperage. And that is going to depend on the metal that you're cutting. A lot of people when they run these machines just turn the amperage all the way up. <clears throat> and that's fine, it will make the cut. But the dross or the slag on the back of the cut is heavier if you're using too much amperage. You want to adjust the thing best that you can to the thickness of material that you use. Next thing we have is the torch itself. and a work clamp. And those are the only components of this plasma torch. We want the work clamp to go on the metal itself or we can put it on the table. But we want to make sure if we put it on the table that whatever we're cutting has a really good ground or it's sitting flat on the table. So. On the trigger, we have a trigger lock. Doesn't work. I need to lift this up, and then all I do is simply push the trigger. There's the air pressure blowing the metal out, and it also cools the tip. I push the trigger, and it's as simple as that. Now, depending on the type of tip that you have on this cutter, some of these are called standoff tips where you need to leave the torch off from the metal a little bit. 
Some of them are drag tips where you put the metal right on the plasma cutter. You put it, the plasma cutter tip right on the metal, pull the trigger, and drag it across. There's going to be more videos on actual technique of how to make a cut, where, how to start the side, cutting holes, cutting squares. But for right now, this is the setup and operation video for this plasma cutter. We put our power in, we hook our air line up, make sure we have enough air pressure, we adjust the amperage to the metal thickness that we're cutting, we set the icon to the type of cutting we're doing or the type of metal, and it's as simple as this. You can literally write your name in metal with these things. So, that is the setup and operation of the plasma cutter.